Find the next three terms in the sequence minus 1, 0, 9, 32 and 75. Writing out the, the sequence, leaving a space between each term and then use the and use the method of differences. So writing those terms out, we get minus 1, 0, 9, 32, 75. Don't put the three dots at the end because we're going to add the next three terms here. Right, if we do the method of differences, between 0 and 1 we add 1. From 0 to 9 we're going to add 9. From 9 to 32 we have to add 23. And from 32 to 75 we get 43. You can get those numbers by doing 75 minus 32, 32 minus 9, 9 minus 0, and 0 minus minus 1. Now we look at the differences between this one. So from here we need to add 8. From here we're going to need to add 14. And from here we're going to add 20. And now we look at the differences of these. We're going to add 6. And we're going to add 6 here. Now we've got enough information in order to carry the pattern on. Because each time we are adding 6 here. So if we now add 6 to 20... We're going to get 26, and if we now add 43 plus 20, 26, we get 69. And now if we do 75 plus 69, we're going to get 144. So that gives me the next term. And now we do the same thing again. Add a further 6 to 26, that's going to give me 32. 69 plus 32, it gives me 102. 144 plus 102 will give me 245. Going back down here, we'll now add another 6 to 32, we're going to get 38, 102 to 38, we're going to get 140, 245 plus 140 will give me 385, and then the sequence will carry on. So, the next three terms are 144, 245 and 365. So if you set this out clearly, leaving a space, making sure you put each number in sort of the gaps, uh, you will be able to find the next three members using the method of differences. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.